Our special focus today on Jammu and Kashmir, which has been repeatedly struck by terror in the last one month. This week alone, there were four terror incidents within 48 hours, especially in the Jammu region, reinforcing a new trend of terror activity shifting to the Rajori Push areas of Jammu. This region has been quiet for two decades after being a hotbed of insurgency in the 1990s. So what's changed? Is there a vacuum in Jammu and Kashmir as India shifts deployment? to the line of actual control in Ladakh. Are standard operating procedures being followed? We explore this new surge in terrorism in our next report. It's been a bloody month in India's Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Multiple terror attacks have hit the valley. On Monday, five army personnel lost their lives in a terror ambush when their patrol vehicle came under heavy gunfire in Kathua district's remote Machedi Valley. The army truck was attacked by grenades and gunfire. Then on Tuesday, another attack took place, this time an encounter in the Doda district. Security forces engaged terrorists in the Cezanne forest area where two to three militants were believed to be trapped. The army, police and CRPF forces launched search operations to track down the militants involved. Ground troops backed by helicopter and drone surveillance combed the region. The JNK police also deployed its special operations group, which primarily deals with anti-terror operations. The Kathu attack came on the heels of twin encounters in the Kulgam district of Kashmir in which six terrorists and two soldiers were killed. The uptick in terror attacks in Jammu and Kashmir comes after the security establishment received inputs of a successful infiltration by a large group. In a strong statement, the centre said the attack will not go unavenged. As the government takes stock of the situation in JNK, we look into the new wave of terror unleashing in the valley. The latest attack is part of a series of attacks that JNK has seen in last two months since the new government was sworn in, sparking concerns whether terror outfits have been able to revive the old routes and operating mechanisms from the 1990s that was known for the highest levels of insurgency. A terror faction that calls itself the Kashmir Tigers have claimed responsibility for the attacks. The Kashmir Tigers are believed to be an offshoot organization of the Pakistan-based jaish e mohammed Its origins can be traced back to 2019, when Jammu and Kashmir's special status was revoked by the Indian government. According to those privy to the matter, the terrorists are believed to be part of the same group that opened fire at a patrolling party in the Udhampur district of JNK in April. Last month, two terrorists and a CRPF jawan were killed in a gunfight during a search and cordon operation in the Hiranagar area of Kathua. Following this latest attack, security has also been increased along the Jammu-Srinagar National Highway. This fresh wave of highly armed terrorists have targeted both civilians and military personnel. Security forces have identified that terrorists have been successful in reviving age-old infiltration routes which were abandoned during the 90s. This includes usage of thick forest cover in Dood Basantkar belt of Udhampur and taking advantage of mountainous areas of Jammu. The infiltrators have also exploited the natural caves as hideouts and rivers for infiltration. Last month, terrorists opened fire at a bus in which pilgrims were travelling. The bus fell into a gorge in Riasi district and nine people were killed. Days after the Riasi incident, two armed terrorists entered a village and opened fire. In the gunfight that followed, a CRPF personnel was killed and the terrorists shot dead. Sixty foreign terrorists, suspected to be trained in jungle warfare in Afghanistan and Pakistan, are currently believed to be operating in the Jammu region with modern weapons and satellite comm systems. Authorities are closely monitoring the situation. The latest string of attacks have posed a fresh challenge for the government and security apparatus, one that has many complexities.